Okay, just a quick update here on how things worked on the uh, with the oil baffle on my last trip, which was about 850, 900 miles. Uh, I'm happy to report that the baffle is working phenomenally well beyond expectations. It's helping greatly to prevent oil from getting into the PCV system in the catch can. Uh, just to kind of touch on it real quickly, some of the high points. I went 400 miles with uh, the vacuum set to where I had more or less neutral crankcase, slightly positive uh, vacuum, or I guess I should say negative pressure in the crankcase the whole trip. 400 miles uh, and about 15 milliliters. On the return trip, I did boost the vacuum levels up to where, when taking into consideration the fresh air breather, I was about three quarters of a an inch of vacuum for the, the majority of the trip. Uh, coming back, which was a, a subsequent 400 miles, uh, I got more like around an ounce and a half of oil, but I was going up very large hills. The motor was running better at that higher vacuum level. So at this stage, uh, it seems that the baffle, which I showed in my previous video, really is doing a phenomenal job. Um, I wanted to add also that gas mileage lately has been averaging on highway trips uh, anywhere between uh, 24 to 25 miles per gallon at the low side, or, or I guess I should say average, with a peak mileage and a new record for the truck of, um, I believe it's 28.7 miles per gallon. So that, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. I'm running 5W30 oil. Uh, I also removed the side mirrors to help with drag. Um, I think I mentioned, might have mentioned that in another video. And on, on this side, no, no mirror at all. So that, that actually seems to add a, a tiny bit of uh, gas mileage to the truck. Maybe half or one mile per gallon. Let's see what else. Oh, uh, I did have a chance to call LC Engineer. I spoke with uh, Brian over there. And I asked him the question, uh, what they thought as far as my hypothesis of when you put the dual row timing chain on with the uh, the pro oil pump, which is just a slightly higher pressure according to them, uh, and you combine that with the rocker arm uh, rods that have the additional oil flow holes, I asked them, could that create a situation with, with the pro street cylinder head, or any cylinder head, where you could run into a case where the oil return hole is not quite large enough to let oil return to the engine uh, crankcase fast enough. And they said, as a matter of fact, yes, they have run into that situation. They have had to increase the size of the hole for certain customers. I didn't get into a lot of the specifics. I, I merely explained to them what I had experienced, you know, going up hills. And, and I thought that some of the modifications I had made to my baffle increased oil and I wanted to know if, if they what their opinion was but they said that they did they have had to increase the size of that hole for certain customers I didn't get into specifics because my motor is currently assembled as to how much they increased it but I just wanted to mention that that they did uh, uh, mention that that is something that, that they've had to uh, I guess uh, put some attention on um, for certain customers not probably not everybody um, I'm still chasing oil consumption issues, probably due to my short block and the rings, uh, maybe stuck oil control rings. I soaked the cylinders a couple times since I got back with uh, Berryman B12 Kim Tool, the fuel injector one that you can pour into the gas tank. Uh, it, I, I let it sit in the cylinders. We'll see if it does any, anything as far as the rings are concerned. I will say that I did some tests between different products by soaking them on top of uh, the pistons out of my 3RZ motor, which had a lot of carbon. I tried uh, liquid Molly injector cleaner, straight gasoline, and then the B12 fuel injector cleaner. And in allowing them to sit for 10 or 15 minutes, the only thing that dissolved the carbon at all was the uh, B12 fuel injector cleaner. So I poured that in the cylinders uh 400 milliliters almost ha almost a full can it's now down in the oil i also put a can of it into the fuel tank so i'm coming at the motor from both sides with the b12 fuel injector cleaner which in my experience is the 
hands down the best product on the market for dissolving carbon. We'll see if it does anything. Uh, I'm currently running Valvoline 5W30. I may switch over to 10W40, but I'll be monitoring oil consumption. At this time, it's, it's going through about one quart of oil every 500 miles. Uh, not great, but I really don't have time to pull the motor back out and uh, do what I should have done originally, which was soak the pistons and clean up the rings or re-ring the motor. For whatever reason, I decided not to do that. But as they like to say, hindsight is 2020. So that's the state of things with the baffle. Uh, it is a success, that little multi-plate thing that you saw in the other video. Uh, it's keeping the oil going into the catch can down to levels that are very manageable. Uh, like I say, 400 miles with 15 milliliters or half an ounce is, is perfectly acceptable. Uh, I am running the motor at a slightly higher vacuum level now. And I'm, what I'm doing is just every 100 or 200 miles, I'm dumping out, you know, whatever little bit of oil back into the crankcase, uh, into the valve cover here. And, uh, and I, I think that's going to allow me to drive the truck with the 22RE until such time as I, as I move and sell my house, as I mentioned in other videos, and get a new shop. And then we'll see about the uh, building the 3RZ turbo project. So for now, I'm going to call that a success on the baffle. If you guys have any questions on anything, feel free to use the comment section below. And uh, thanks very much for watching.